Hey everyone, welcome back to the Crazy Dreamer Network. My name is AJ and let's hop right into today's reading. So today's reading is a pick a card about what the world has waiting for you one year from now, okay? So again, what does the world have waiting for you one year from now? We have four piles, pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, and pile number four. Pile number one, oh, I'm using the Life's Purpose Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue for the pile selections and the crystals are pile number one we have lapis lazuli pile number two we have black obsidian pile number three we have tiger's eye And pile number four, we have green strawberry quartz, okay? So again, pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, and pile number four. I love you all so much, my dreamy dreamers, and I'll see you in your readings. Bye. Hey, pile number ones. Welcome back to your reading. So you all chose the lapis lazuli. I love this crystal. Um, you know, it really signifies and personifies within you when you carry it or have it on your altar or, you know, the, you know, whatever medium you wish to like uh, hold this crystal close to you. Um, it signifies strength, courage, royalty, some may say. You know, the Sumerians used to feel like this depicted the night sky. Um, I wish I had you know, better lighting to show you all, but it kind of does look like the night sky. Um, it also signifies royalty, intellect, and truth, you know? So what I'm getting, what the world has in store for you, my pile number ones, is just that. Um, resilience and the main the maintenance of your strength and your courage, because I have a feeling you could be a person in a high place one year from now and it's going to take a lot of strength and courage to persist on that path and um you, i feel like you're going to be someone who is like a truth teller you know you're going to uh be someone who embodies a lot of wisdom and thus uh shares a lot of intellect with the public or the world at large okay so i'll put your crystal here and let's reveal your card. We have protected, awesome. It says you are safe and supported while you change your career. So I do want to read a little bit from this guidebook about this card because it does go in depth. So let's see, it says protected. Okay. So it says the angels reassure you that it's safe for you to make a career transition, that you'll be supported along the way, provided you listen to and follow your inner guidance. This card indicates that the time is ripe for you to make this change. Hold the intention that this change will allow you to bring more blessings, excuse me, more blessings into the world as an attitude of selfless service will, uh, sorry about that y'all, one second, as an attitude of self selfless service will ally the ego's insecurities the more you focus upon service the less your ego will try to delay your happiness you like everyone have a unique and much needed life purpose that awaits you with open arms when you fully commit to helping others through your purpose the doors of opportunity and support open wide your career transitions will ride upon the smooth wings of the angels as long as you're focused upon serving a higher good continue to call upon the angels for guidance support and protection throughout your manifestation if you find yourself feeling insecure or nervous put your entire focus on service when you intend to serve a purpose that's when your purpose will begin to serve you so pile number ones i feel like what this also what the world has in store for you or has waiting for you is a purposeful career so 
within the next year, you could see yourself transitioning out of one career into another, maybe switching jobs or job titles, or actually maybe taking the entrepreneurial route, you know, going into business for yourself. And that could create a lot of abundance, a lot of, um, you know, being known in high places, things of that nature. And, uh, I guess even as it pertained to the lapis lazuli royalty of some sorts, cause you could, you know, start your business and it could, you know, take off rather quickly. And maybe a lot of people will know your name or know your product or know your service. Okay. So, um, in regards to that, your angels, ancestors, and guides want you to know how protected you are if you do choose to change your career or if you do choose to go out into like the, you know, the market on your own, right? Creating your own business or your own products or services, okay? You guys hear that uh, motorcycle? I feel like that's how you're going to be taking off, like just... Or that's how your business or something is going to take off if that's what you choose to do, right? Because we all, we create our lives, you know what I'm saying? Tarot is just a guide map. It's just like, you know, suggestions into how you can, you know, <clears throat> uh, maybe accelerate that change, accelerate that manifestations, or just to see what's what could be in store, okay? But in any case, let's hop into your reading pile number one. So we have at the bottom of the deck, the world card, okay? Signifying travel, success, completion, okay? Ending up one ending one cycle and immediately going into the next, okay? Rather successfully. Integration, okay? Um, even like to a certain degree, like uh, femininity, and the masculinity integrated, right? Uh, but yeah, I see success ahead of you. I see a perpetuation of success too in soul integration and just feeling like you are ready and able to take on the world, okay? You could be traveling a lot as well a year from now, pile number ones. You also have an extra card, which is the tower. And I have a feeling like your, your crown chakra is completely open. I feel like maybe even a year from now, there could have been like this major thing that has happened in the world. Nothing scary, nothing to be alarmed about. You're protected, remember? You, your family, your loved ones, your community, everyone's protected. I don't think this is anything big. I think it's, I mean, like anything like you know, hazardous or anything like that. I think it's an awakening, an epiphany. You could have had an, another awakening or something like that, which um, maybe urged you to seek out different employment or to go on your own, go at it on your own and create a business or do something in relation to something that's going to shake you up, shake the table, shake up the status quo. You know what I'm saying? I see that's more so what this tower card represents this epiphany like i just like let's say you're just working your job one day and you're just kind of like you know doing the monotonous like everyday office work whatever and then you just like snap out of it and you're like i can't do this and you just walk out and you start your own business and it becomes successful and you're helping people and people are helping you in exchange and it's just this perpetual flow of success where as in this one split moment you just made that decision and that's where i get that tower card energy from okay and it's interesting because we have two major arcanas right uh one on top of the other it was almost like this snap decision uh you know ended up to your benefit right it, it allowed you to you know that confidence that courage that strength that that lapis lazuli is talking about and encourage you to you know kind of uh take a leap of faith on yourself but in any regards pile number one let's list off your cards and get into this reading so we have the knight of pentacles six of swords nine of swords page of pentacles ace of wands five of swords nine of wands the high priestess the hermit and we have the page of cups so interestingly enough pile number ones we have nine 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 we have the nine of swords nine of wands and the hermit which is the major arcana card number nine i don't know if you guys y'all can see that but 
there's a Roman numeral nine there. So there's definitely the <clears throat> ending of a cycle, okay? Um, completion being here, nine, nine, nine. A lot of you could be uh, getting into careers as it pertains to light working or energy work, okay? Because 999 also signifies the call of the light worker, right? Um, but I feel like, yeah, this is almost what the cards are, almost pretty much what the cards are saying and suggestion and suggesting even just through the synchronistic moment of the 999 being here, wrapping up one cycle, going into the next. And uh, I feel like getting into a career, a spiritually based, spiritually based career of light working or uh, just being of service to others when needed, okay? So not with the Nine of Swords and the High Priestess, I have a feeling there's a lot of unconscious or subconscious, whatever you, you know, like to call emotions coming out for you right now, maybe because this transition in work, right? Maybe you're like, did I do the right thing? Was this the right decision for me to do right now? But what I'm getting is, yes, it is. Yes, it was. You know, whatever you were called to do to the point where, you know, you just couldn't take it at work anymore. So you you left or you even, you know, uh, resignated, you know, it was the right thing for you to do. And you've been knowing this for a long time. Now, I feel like maybe this is secretarial work or like I was suggesting, you're the boss. You could be in a high position um, very early on in your career, okay? Maybe this was a high position that you resonated from to do something that the public would, you know, deem as something like, what? Like you left a six-figure paying job to do energy healing, <laughs> stuff like that. And maybe the status quo is kind of getting to your friends, family, whatever they're saying about, you know, your transition into a new career or something like that is getting to you, right? Or has gotten to you in the past, but don't worry about that. Don't be concerned with others' opinion because you are the only person who's living your life, right? Pile number ones. Other people can't make decisions for you. They can only suggest or try to tell you their experience. And that is exactly what it is, their experience. It isn't your experience. Just because you are at a six-figure job or a six-figure position where it seemed like, oh, you know, you're this highfalutin person, maybe you were unhappy. And it seems like you were unhappy. Maybe it was causing you like uh, sleepless nights, being this stressed out at work because you have so much on your shoulders and you maybe didn't even feel like you were really impacting as many people or as, as many lives as you could do doing your passion, right? So this could be a, a huge indication too. And I feel like maybe you feel like it's just time. It was time to make that change. It was time to make that transition. And a year from now, what the world awaits for you is, I feel like you're going to do that, you know? you're going to do that and you're sure about it especially with the high priestess here it's uh all about unconscious subconscious energy that dark feminine energy that knowing right that inner wisdom where you just know like you know like you know and you don't even know how you know you don't have to know how you know it's just something that's been endowed to you from um you know the higher the most high right Okay, so with the Knight of Pentacles here and the Five of Swords, I have a feeling like you're stepping into the world stage slowly but surely. You're, you're looking over the fields, seeing what needs to be planted, seeing how, you know, things are going to manifest before your eyes, right? I feel like you're strategically planning here with these this Five of Swords, right? I feel like maybe you're even... Um, obviously strategizing a little bit, but, um, you're doing whatever you have to do in order to maintain your vision and to see it into fruition, to see it to completion. Okay. Even a year from now, maybe you could have maybe like, uh, disassociated with certain people that you used to work with. Okay. And uh, you kind of had to go at it alone because maybe they didn't see your vision as clearly as you did. But, 
you know, I feel like the last laugh, sorry to say, is going to be on them because you really have this big grand vision that's really going to be successful. And I feel like maybe they turn their backs and, you know, it's just like it was what it was, right? With the six of swords and the nine of wands, exactly God's spirit source energy is, is, um, calming your mind, calming those fires, calming those worries, uh, you know, kind of like, uh, guiding you slowly and steadily into, um, calmer waters so you can think clearly. And so you can have the resilience and the strength to go forward into your mission, to go forward into your calling. Okay. It's like you're down, but you're not out. Right. And you're ready to, uh, maintain this inner resilience, this inner healing, um, as it pertains to your life's purpose or where it is you see your life going. And I have a feeling that, you know, you're, you're really, um, kind of delving into how you want to construct this foundation, uh, a year from now. Okay. <clears throat> With the page of pentacles and the hermit card, this is something that you have seen, uh, beyond the scope of your, beyond the scope of the mundane, right? You feel like a student again with this page of pentacles here. You feel like an apprentice again. You're feeling ready to go. You're feeling like you're ready to take action and move forward towards your goals, your dreams, your ambition. And you don't mind planting the seed and waiting and anticipating for it to grow. I have a feeling you have a really amazing idea as it pertains to this business or however you're going to start this up. You could be doing a startup too, especially with this page of pentacles and this ace of wands. That's just what I'm getting here. It could be a startup, maybe a, a, a tech technology startup or uh, an internet an internet based startup that has something to do with light working this could be uh what you're producing in the next year okay with the hermit card with the as it pertains to the page of pentacles and the hermit card maybe uh there is a young apprentice that you're working with they could be a virgo but what I'm also getting is that there's a lot of pages here too. So definitely new beginnings here. Okay. And new thoughts surrounding these new beginnings, a lot of innocence, a lot of purity. And this is awesome coming in with that energy because it's, um, untainted, so to speak, right? You, you're, you're starting fresh. You're starting new, especially in the material and in the emotional realm, you're starting fresh and new. And, um, I feel like you are, you're open, you know, you're open to new ideas as they come in. But I really do want to delve more into this page of pentacles in this hermit card, because I feel like maybe you have had to shut out the world in order, in order to focus on this new beginning, right? Or this message coming in. This could be a message coming in from some young earth sign, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. And Hmm. Maybe it's something that you really have to think about in your own solitude pile number ones. Okay. It could be that, or like I was saying, just this, this newfound energy, this newfound, uh, you wanting to learn a lot and absorb, a, absorb a lot. And maybe you're just taking the time out shutting off from the world, right? It's interesting because we have the high priestess with their laptop open here, and then we have the hermit closing their laptops. So this career actually um, maybe has aligned you to spend less time online, right? Less time online. And that's the bright idea, spending less time online or monitoring um how much you're online. So when it's time to cut off, like as it pertains, maybe it's like a spike in energy levels. Maybe that's the idea of, um, what you're coming up with. Um, yeah, that's kind of what's coming in. Yeah. So yeah, I'm getting from these four cards you could be working on something that were like an app or something, ironically enough, that 
signals to people when <clears throat> too much screen time is causing them anxiety and then it notifies them or allows them to turn it off. Maybe it cuts off the device or puts the device like you can't get into it for like 10 minutes or something like that so you could pay attention to something else. I don't know why I'm getting that, but it's coming in. So with the Ace of Wands and the Page of Cups, yeah, I feel like you're getting your passion back for life, you know? You're getting your passion back from life. You're getting your zest back, pile number one. And it's because uh, you have this innocence about you now because maybe you have lightened the load from your previous career or from whatever you were previously doing, okay? Because this person, this high priestess, they look very stern. They look very serious. Like they really couldn't like show their authentic selves at work. And I feel like now you can, you know what I'm saying? Now you can kind of show that inner child that you've been wanting to because you're multifaceted. We all are. We aren't just one note people, right? So let's pull some more cards. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit, for cleansing and blessing this deck. Tell us more for our pile number ones. What does the world have waiting for pile number ones a year from now, Spirit? What does the world have waiting for pile number ones a year from now? Clear, concise, accurate messages. Thank you. Okay. Amazing. So we have card number six, moving on. Yeah, you're moving forward in your life. And we have card number two, movement, choices, and decisions. You had to make uh, the choice to move forward um, as it pertained to you know, maybe your previous career or what you were doing, or even if this isn't a career, maybe this is a relationship or, you know, um, a mindset, you know, but you're moving forward and it's, uh, I feel like it's really affecting your abundance in a amazing way. Tell us more, spirit. I feel like you're actually becoming more balanced as an individual too because you have a little bit more time to think, you know? To think about what's important to you. And it's interesting because we have two and six, that's 12, okay? <laughs> so literally 12 months from now, a year from now. Tell us more, Spirit. One more card. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number ones. What does the world have waiting for pile number ones a year from now? Look, we have card number five, financial and material changes. I literally just said it's like increasing your finances in a good way. You know, I feel like where you were, you might have been, I feel like you may have been working this, you know, corporate nine to five job that paid you well, but you were very unfulfilled, right? You might've been making six figures or close to it, but you're very unfulfilled. But with, to me, I know this is like representative of the five of pentacles, but for me, this card can go either way, right? It can go, um, you know, material changes that like are at a deficit or it could go material changes that are in the influx. And how I'm reading this is it's in the influx because you see all these people, you know, this person has rings and things on and it's like this person is moving towards this material and this financial and material change. So I'm getting, it's even making you better. You might make a little less or even more because you're now in this energetic frequency of attracting abundance to you left, left to right up and down because uh your vibrations are higher because you're in a more peaceful tranquil state and you have to make that decision and it worked for you like even one tarot reader <laughs> they have the same deck and it's like you're following the money right it looks like money from where you know we are but they're actually leaves but it does look like dollars pouring pouring down from the sky so i think that's really amazing pile number um pile number ones Okay, let's pull some more cards. Let's see. I want to pull... 
Let's do this deck. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit, for cleansing and blessing this deck, for giving pile number one's clear, concise, accurate messages. Okay. Look, Spirit Team, this blew out. I wish y'all would have seen it. Yeah, your guides are telling you this is the right thing to do. And look at how, like, they're bodyguards. They're protecting you along your path, along your journey. So you have no need to worry. We basically have protection twice here. Tell us more, Spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages. For our pile number one, what does the world have waiting for pile number ones a year from now? Clear, concise, too many cards. <laughs> Clear, concise, accurate messages. What does the world have waiting for pile number ones a year from now? I'm gonna take this card. Share your gifts. You can't make this up. Yeah, it's time, pile number ones. And y'all have probably already been thinking about this. So maybe your gift is culinary arts. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that's cooking. I'm sure not all of you, but you know, some. Tell us more, Spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages. What else does the world have waiting for pile number ones a year from now? One more card. Thank you. Oh, we got two more cards. We have root chakra. Beautiful. So I feel like you're going to be very grounded, very, um, very stable at this time as well. Because God's spirit source energy is your supply. And I feel like you're understanding that with your spiritual team right on your side, like right by your side as you do this. Look, we have no interesting and it's red just like the root chakra let's see what's at the bottom of this deck go with the flow so i'm getting you could be asking yourself a lot a lot during this time pile number ones if you did the right thing if you made the right decision because something is preempting this question now it could be like a year from now you are like just it's like you're happy, but you're like, maybe you're, like I said, you're not making as much just right now because you're just getting into the business. You're just in the swing of things. And maybe something is questioning, like you keep questioning, like, did I do the right thing? Did I make the right decision? And um, that's where I'm getting this no from. Like, yes, you did make the right decision, right? Like you did. I kind of want to clarify this no, because we have at the bottom of the deck going with the flow. And I have a feeling maybe you're a little nervous, scared, right? Maybe that root chakra isn't turning how you want it to. And it's turning the other way saying like, oh, maybe you're thinking out of fear and lack. And it's like your root chakra is trying to tell you like, no, stop, go the other way. Don't think like that. Because if you think like that, then that's well, that will be the um, that will be the outcome that's produced, right? And you don't want to think like that. You want to think that you are stable, you are grounded, you are protected during this time of transitioning, maybe out of one career to another. Okay, you have to trust yourself and what your spirit team is telling you. Okay, so yeah. So now let's pull some more cards. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Tell us more. What else for our pile number ones? What else does the world have waiting for our pile number one, Spirit? Clear, concise, accurate messages. Clear, concise, accurate messages. What else does the world have waiting for our pile number ones one year from now, Spirit? Clear, concise, accurate messages. We have flowers. Fickle, yeah. You, it's almost like you, you're going back and forth on whether or not you made the right decision. This could even be, like I was saying earlier, maybe in a relationship. Maybe you left the relationship and you felt like, did I do the right thing? 
Tell us more, spirit, clear, concise, accurate messages. What does the world have waiting for pile number ones a year from now? Clear, concise, accurate messages. I wanna pull this card. Scrying their projection. This could be other people's projection on you. Like I was saying, like your family and your friends could maybe not understand what you're doing because they really care care about you, but they could be like showing it not in the right way because they were taught something different, you know? They weren't taught to follow their dreams and they'd be protected and guided through God, source, energy, spirit. They were taught, oh, you know, out of college or right when you exit high school get a good paying job and stay there forever and you're like nah you know and that could be taking a toll on you because everyone on the external is saying like i don't know you left like a high paying career to do to cook or to <laughs> do spiritual work and you're like yeah so a lot of people could be like projecting their own fears and insecurities on you and maybe you're creating that boundary as well with this no card. Like, no, mm -mm. maybe that's what's put you in hermit mode as well, pile number. Um, pile number ones. Okay, so these cards came out. We have spells alchemy and we have oracle wisdom. Sorry, let me make some room here. And we have Oracle Wisdom. So yeah, you followed your intuition. You are the Oracle. You have this deep, profound understanding of your life's purpose and calling and trust it because your spirit team is right beside you and they're not going to let anything happen to you while you're, you know, following your heart's desires and your heart's content and you're moving to forward uh, towards your goals, pile number ones, okay? Remember, you have it within you to create anything you want with this Spells Alchemy card. So understand and know what you're saying out loud. Be very aware of the words you speak because they're creating worlds, right? Words create worlds. So uh, you, you're literally putting spells on yourself with everything you say. So only say things that are just that are good that's of good rapport okay that's beautiful for everyone and every for yourself and everyone involved right and i feel like you are endowed with that wisdom it doesn't matter if other people aren't you have it within you so you're going to know what to do at the end of the day so i'm going to read i'm going to end your reading off pile number one with this these guided goddess <laughs> guidance oracle cards for you my loves okay clear concise accurate messages for our pile number ones okay what does the world have waiting for them a year from now clear concise accurate messages what does the world have waiting for them one year from now spirit So we have, look, inner wisdom, Athena. We have wisdom here, inner wisdom, the hermit card, which stands for solitude um, and inner wisdom, right? And then we also have the high priestess, which also stands for wisdom. You're very wise beyond belief. You are doing the right thing and go inward for your answers. Don't look for answers, especially right now, typically ever, but especially right now, from outside um, people or circumstances, seek the answers within because you have them. We have Athena, inner wisdom. You know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. Exactly, that's what you did. Your inner wisdom told you what to do. So you followed it to a T, okay? Athena is a amazing Greek warrior goddess that, you know, is driven and focused, okay? And has a lot of wisdom behind them. So definitely continue on your on your mission and your goal without delay because that 
that inner owl, the owl could be your totem animal, but that inner owl is giving you the inner resilience and, um, you know, wisdom, right? That you need to proceed. Tell us more spirit, clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number ones. We have peace with Aaron. Aaron with peace. There is no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully. Exactly. You're taken care of, okay? I have a feeling that you're going to feel a lot more peace with your decision as the time goes by. Tell us more, spirit. One more card for our pile number ones. What does, this, what does the world have waiting for them a year from now? Uh, we have Aphrodite, inner goddess. It says, awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. Exactly. You're going to have so much more time now. You can actually appreciate yourself, appreciate uh, who you are as an individual and um, like... I feel like really take care of yourself now. I feel like maybe you even you haven't even had the time to do that because you were working so much, pile number ones, and you weren't working on something that was your purpose. But now, as you're in your purpose, God is God, spirit, source, energy, your higher self is facilitating you with time, abundance, resources to do just that. Okay. We also have at the bottom of the deck. Ishtar boundaries. It says, love yourself enough to say no to others demands on your time and energy. This is what this could be too. You did say no. You put your foot down. You placed a boundary, right? Wow. There you go. Love yourself enough to say no to others demands on your time and energy. And this is what you did. And you're not hearing what, you know, you don't have time to hear, uh, naysayers and, um, who are operating from fear and like, you know, maybe sadness about what's going on in their own um, arena right now, you know? So, I want to pull one angel message card for you, pile number ones to conclude your reading. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. One, what would you like to leave with our pile number ones? Last message for our pile number one spirit. Thank you. We have precious gift. Okay, it says friend, friendship, family, and loved ones are precious gifts. Do not lose sight of what's important. Yeah, and I feel like you haven't. This is why you made the choice to like, you know, do something different with your life as it pertains to your life's goal or your life's mission. Look, this fell out too. This just fell out. I was picking it up right now. It says positive outcome. The sun is about to burst through the clouds and you will soon see things in a different light. Something that previously seemed hopeless will soon be filled with nothing but hope. Okay, so amazing, amazing reading pile number ones. Thank you all for you know, staying till the end. I love you so much, my dreamy dreamers. I wish you all the best of of blessings and prosperity for you one year from now. And with that being said, if you like this reading, if it resonated with you, please give this reading a big thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe, share this content with loved ones, family, friends, or anyone who would best benefit from the messages provided here today. Again, I love you all so much, my dreamy dreamers, and I'll see you in your next reading. Bye. Hey, pile number twos, welcome back to your reading. So you all chose the black obsidian, okay? So this black obsidian has a lot of power behind it, right? It's a protection stone and it actually relates to the root chakra as it's also a grounding stone as well because I believe obsidian comes from um, like volcanic rock. Um, this keeps negative energy at bay as well okay so i have a feeling pile number ones what the world has waiting on you is protection okay solid protection solid grounding i have a feeling uh a year from now you are going to be feeling very grounded in your 
in your chosen field, in your chosen profession, in the life that you've manifested for yourself, pile number twos, okay? So I'm going to put your crystal here. And let's see what oracle card you got. Well, I'll be. We have crystals. <laughs> it says your connection to crystals and gemstone is a channel for healing energy. Exactly. You've healed a lot and you've transmuted a lot of energy, pile number twos. So I definitely want to read you more about this card. Okay. So let's see, what does a guidebook have to say? It says, this card is a signal for you to delve more deeply into your understanding of crystals and gemstones as they're calling you to work with them as a part of your life purpose. These objects amplify and direct the divine healing energy to people, animals, and, envi and the environment. Each one has a life force to which you've often connected. Now is the time to research this connection through classes, books, intuitively communicating with and intuitively communicating with crystals. There's a reason why crystals are used in watches, computers, and medical devices, namely their power to magnify energy and light in directed ways. Similar, similarly, you can use them for healing purposes to amplify your natural abilities. Your work may combine your, your work may combine crystals with massage, energy healing, arts and crafts, or other endeavors. Regardless of what you do, be sure to include these powerful objects. If you're new to working with stones, paying a visit to a gym shop is a good starting place. Walk through with an open mind and heart and notice which crystals attract you. Then read up on the healing properties of the ones that call to you. You'll find that they provide exactly the energy most needed at that time. Trust that this law of attraction process will also work through you to will also work through you to help your clients. Okay. So again, um, I feel like what the world has waiting for you one year from now. Could be something to do with crystals. You might own a business, a crystal business or something like that. You could use uh, crystals just by wearing them or uh, by having them around your home. Maybe you might have huge geodes that uh, cleanse a lot of the energy in and around you and in your, like it said, in your environment that can help to secure uh maybe your manifestations or these plans that you have been having for a while now, pile number twos. Okay. Um, but like I was saying, you could actually start up a crystal business and it could become very successful for you a year from now, or maybe you've just been thinking about that lately. Okay. So I digress. Let's move on with your reading. We have the page of wands at the bottom of the deck. So it's interesting with the page of wands being at the bottom of the deck in reverse, I have a feeling maybe you press pause on, on some Something, or maybe you were a little reluctant to start something from jump, right? So maybe this what maybe you have been always into crystals, super into crystals, and maybe you wanted to start your own shop, but just something was kind of delayed or something was telling you to press pause or you, you're not ready yet or something like that. But I have a feeling this delay is about to be lifted, okay? Um and the idea that you had was a very rich one. It was very rich in spirit and rich in um, where it could lead to further uh, development, right? You could also be a fire sign, pile number twos, um, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. There's a there's a lot of fire energy in your chart. I mean, in your chart, in, in your um, spread right now. Or you can be involved with a fire sign right now or maybe even be working with a fire sign right now. Okay, but I digress. Let's move forward. We have the King of Wands, Nine of Cups, the star. Just these three in a row, like, <laughs> come on. We have the Knight of Wands in reverse, the Will of Fortune, Six of Cups, Five of Wands, Four of Wands, the Six of Pentacles in reverse, and the Strength card. So, uh... Moving forward to the center of your reading with the star and the four of wands, I have a feeling like you, this is a wish fulfillment coming in for you in the next year. So the world, uh, what the world has waiting for you one year from now, pile number two is wish fulfillment, okay? You could have wished for this exact thing to happen in your life, right? This exact business. 
And I feel like business is booming and it's allowing this stability or financial freedom here with the four of wands and the star card. And you've been wishing for this pile number, <clears throat> pile number twos, and you've healed this. And again, as it pertains to crystals, your connection to crystals and gemstones is a channel for healing energy. The star card represents that healing energy and it's providing for you because you listen to your, your, your soul. You listen to not just your soul, but it all together, mind, body, and soul. And this, it's creating a stability, financial freedom, a celebration in your life through just going forward with the mission, no matter uh, how delayed this was. Okay. I'm also getting delayed gratification. So maybe you Maybe you had a plan all along to work until you had enough resources to be able to purchase your crystals from the right places, right? From people who were authentic and making sure your crystals were top notch before you start this business or you start to use them or, you know, whatever the case is. You did a lot of research and planning. You just didn't go straight into things. Um you know, you did a lot of, like I said, research, planning, um, reading, okay, about maybe the crystals that you wanted to sell in your store or the crystals you want to wear to amplify the, even in regards to the energy, maybe you're like, well, I don't know exactly what energy I want to attract to me. Uh, and like the guidebook suggested, you could have went into a gym shop, you know, seeing, um, a particular crystal was like, I really like that one. That one's pretty and did, did it that way. Went home, looked for the meanings and it was like right on target in regards to like what you've been wanting to manifest in your life, or at least have been wanting to, uh, go towards. Right. So we have the King of Wands and the Six of Cups. Um, I feel like something that you're leading, like you're a leader in your field because you delayed gratification, pile number twos, I keep getting delayed gratification from the page of wands in reverse. You delayed gratification and it made you uh, a leader in your field. It, it could have, and look, it uh, the king of wands, it looks like rocks, but these also looks like shards of crystals too, right? Maybe like unrefined crystals, but they do look like crystals uh, surrounding these surrounding this king of wands and this is what i was saying you could have geodes huge geodes in your house right now and it's amplifying all that good energy and it's turning you into this leader okay and this is someone that you've always wanted to be this is someone that you've always wanted to become and it's like your angels ancestors and guides are endowing you with these gifts right now through these crystals right maybe they're using crystals as a conduit to uh you know, amplify your leadership capabilities. Okay. I'm also getting pile number two, maybe go check pile number three as well. I don't know why I'm getting that, but it's with the, it's involving the King of Wands. And I will say Tiger's Eye does represent it, uh, there, that crystal represents Leo energy and I'm getting major Leo energy from this King of Wands. So that's why I'm saying maybe go check out pile number three if you feel called to. If not, it's okay. But that's what I'm getting. So with the Nine of Cups and the Five of Wands, look, wish fulfillment. We have the Nine of Cups and the Star right next to each other. This wish is being made manifest, pile number twos, for you, okay? And where you may have felt conflicted in the past, you are sure, you are clear. Of, you're sure about yourself and you're sure about the decisions that you're making in regards to yourself, okay? I feel like um, I'm getting a lot of strategy, like you strategized your way to the top. That's what I'm getting. You're strat you strategize your way to the top, okay? And you, you made sure you like were in alignment. You didn't have this internal or external conflict, okay? And there could be, quote unquote, you didn't think about your competitors. You just strategized your way to the top. That's what I'm getting. But this five of wands, it also can stand for competition. But I'm like, you don't see your competition because your wish is already fulfilled. You're living, you're living in the fulfillment of the assumption, right? 
assume the wish fulfilled, as Neville Goddard would say. And you're very happy with your results. That's what I'm getting. You're very happy with the results that you perhaps strategized on for a very long time. With the Knight of Wands and the Six of Pentacles, I feel like even as it pertains to the crystal healing, the crystals could have helped to make you more decisive, right? Delayed instant gratification. The Knight of Wands is all about instant gratification, all about hopping from one idea to the next, to the next, to the next, because they're so passionate, but their passion can be misplaced. And I'm getting you, you're not doing that anymore. You're giving to, with the six of pentacles in reverse as well, you are giving to what gives to you and you're giving to what makes sense to you now, pile number twos. And that's what's really helping you. And I feel like you're putting this intention, you're placing this intention inside your crystals, whether the whether it be the crystals you wear or the crystals you uh, use in your services or the crystals you sell. You're placing your intentions in these objects and it's working, okay? With the Will of Fortune and the Strength card, again, Leo energy. Pile twos, there could be a message for you in pile number threes. Obviously, I haven't, you know, did pile number three yet, so I don't know if it will be or not, but I'm just, King of Wands energy, the Strength card, I just kind of realized the Strength card involves Leo as well. And we do have a Tiger's Eye crystal, um, in our pile selection. So I would definitely go check out pile number threes if you feel compelled to. But I digress with this Wheel of Fortune and the Strength card, two major arcanas, one on top of another. You are feeling like you're on top of the world. You're on top of your game right now, pile number threes. And these crystals or these crystal activations, this activation that you had is perpetuating that. Like you're in a beautiful place. You're blissed out right now, okay? And I don't know what kind of crystals you have. You could have amethyst around you, okay? You could have a, a huge amethyst geodes around you. But you you are like living your life's dream right now because of maybe you opening up a crystal shop or selling crystals or wearing crystals. Maybe you just started uh, to wear crystals or get into crystals and it's really helping to propel you in the right direction, right? It's endowing you with strength and courage and fortitude to keep pressing forward. Okay. And it's a part of your destiny. It's giving you the inner strength and resolve that you need to continue on with your destiny. And this could be through like, you know, offering people crystals, you know, tell us more spirit, clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number twos. What does the world have waiting for them one year from now? Thank you. What does the world have waiting for them one year from now? I'm going to take these two cards because they uh, were projecting out. We have at the bottom of the deck, card number one, passion ignited. This change or these crystals that you're surrounding yourself with or the fact that you're around so many beautiful objects that you love, that you're interested in, it's reigniting your passion. It's re-sparking that flame in your heart, okay? You know what you know. You know what you want. You know where you're going. You know uh, the value you provide for people and vice versa, pile number twos. You're feeling uh, re-inspired, okay? We have card number nine again, okay? Um with spiritual strength. Yeah, your angels, ancestors, and guides are right by your side uh, in reinvigorating you, telling you they have your back. Uh, when, when the going gets tough, they are going to carry that load for you. So you really have nothing to worry about. Okay. This is the nine of wands energy as well. So, you know, you're healing and through that healing, you're gaining more and more resilience. Uh, internally, right? We have card number seven with triumph. Yeah. 
pedal to the metal. You're just going to keep going forward, keep moving forward. I keep getting horsepower, okay? This could be something in relation to cars. Maybe you're learning... You know what I'm getting? Like maybe someone, this could be just one of you, maybe someone's going to try to build a new like electric vehicle that has crystals in them. And that's going to like revolutionize the way uh, cars are built and the way we use energy, right? And uh, maybe getting away from, you know, obviously that's what's going on now. I don't know if they put crystals in cars. I'm pretty sure they do if they put it in everything else like technology or phones, yada, 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 our laptops. Why wouldn't they put it in cars? But I have a feeling like you're going to create like this really cool, maybe one or two of you got a few of you guys might have the idea to, you know, create an electrical car company in which you use crystals or something like that in the car. And then we have car number nine, solitude. We have nine, nine, nine again. Okay, we have nine spiritual strength, nine solitude, and we have the nine of cups here. So again, pile number twos, um, yeah, you're wrapping up a cycle. And I have a feeling like you're wrapping up a cycle and beginning a new, more prosperous one. But with this 999 being here, what I'm also seeing is your mission in life, your purpose in life involves light working, right? Being a conduit of amazing energy to your loved ones or even strangers at times. And crystals is what's going to help to maintain your energy and to keep you grounded and focused and on your mission. You could also offer crystals to your clientele if you work with them on a spiritual level, right? To offer them spiritual grounding as well. So let's pull some more cards. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Curve, concise, accurate messages for our pile number twos. What does the world have waiting for them a year from now? Ooh, look. I'm going to get this card. Meditate. Yeah, I feel like you're going to meditate with your crystals. I feel like a lot of the crystals that you use, whether it be in your practition or just you wear, you are instilling in them the energy of... Uh, the amazing energy that you have through meditation. You can meditate with crystals a lot or you're being called to meditate with crystals a lot if you don't yet. But I have a feeling you're going to be in this really peaceful, tranquil, like, um, I had the word and it just escaped me. But this very peaceful, tranquil, uh, balanced energy a year from now as well. You could lead med meditation retreats and have huge crystals there as well to help aid in the uh, transmutation of energy through other people. Tell us more, spirit. clear, concise, accurate messages. What does the world have waiting for our pile number twos one year from now? feel successful. Yeah, you're going to be feeling extremely successful because I feel like this business or whatever it is that you're doing, it's succeeding. Okay. It's, um, helping you to feel very successful too. I'm also getting with this card solar plexus chakra because this person is wearing like a yellow sweater. So you could be feeling extremely powerful, confident. Okay. Your self-worth could be through the roof right now because you listen to your inner guidance and it and it led you uh, right where you needed to be. One more card, Spirit. Okay, we have Divine Superhero. It's almost like these crystals that you have uh, endowed with particular and specific energy is giving you this almost like this superhuman capability, right? You feel like you could do anything, accomplish inner. Uh, accomplish anything and this could be where all, a lot of this fire energy is coming from through the reading right we have a lot of wands energy here so and check this out raise your vibration yeah you you have you've you've risen it right this is also yellow so i'm getting solar plexus chakra you're definitely raising your vibration here okay let's see let's pull some more cards Tell us more spirit, quick, concise, accurate messages for our pile number two. What does the world have waiting for them a year from now? Yeah, you're going to feel extremely grounded and at ease. Less worry, more abundance. Tell us more, God. 
what does the world have waiting for our pile number twos a year from now? We have lots, chance. I feel like you took a chance, you rolled the dice, and look, we have these thunderbolts. Thunderbolt right here, thunderbolt right here. Your vibration is like at a new time, at a new time high, okay? At a new level of high. Tell us more, spirit, clear, concise, accurate messages. You took a chance on yourself and it paid off pile number twos. Tell us more, God. What does a world have waiting for pile number twos? <laughs> A year from now. What does the world have waiting for pile number twos one year from now? Clear, concise, accurate messages. Thank you. So we have at the bottom of the deck, clouds, mystical. A lot of mystical occurrences could be happening because your frequency is changing, your vibration is changing. We have aura observation. And we have psychometry sensitivity. I have a feeling that your sensitivity is heightening and your sensitivity is your divine superpower. Pile number twos, okay, because you're so sensitive to energy and stuff like that, I have a feeling that's why you're keeping a lot of crystals around you or that's why you're being called to deal with a crystal so they can kind of stabilize those energies for you and actually be a conduit to knowing how to best... Um, use that sensitivity as a superpower, right? With psychometry sensitivity here. And this is your gift, okay? This is a part of your gift. Well, aura observation, like you're, you're making sure your aura is protected. These crystals are making sure your aura is protected at all times. So you could keep maneuvering through life, going about life, doing what you need to do and doing what you were called to do here on this earth, okay? Let's pull some goddess guidance cards. For you, pile number two, clear, concise, accurate messages, spirit, for our pile number twos. What does the world have waiting for pile number twos one year from now? You could even be making your own, like, like stones or something like that. Like, you could be using, like, crystals and putting words on them and infusing this with like amazing intentions and other people are going to be using them as lots to like keep around their office or their houses wherever um whenever they need like a kind of like a good message or um like a pick me up or something someone could also carry with them like these lots that you're making okay when they need like reminder, when they need a rem to remember who they are. We have Unang, easy does it. There is no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. Yeah. Okay, let's pull some more cards. So yeah, you're in this very tranquil meditative state. You're not rushing things to happen. You're allowing them you're allowing them to happen. You're not forcing anything. You're in your femininity and in your feminine energy. So like basically your um, empress energy, male or female, you're just allowing things into your life right now. You're allowing this abundance. You're allowing these gifts, okay? Tell me more, God. Clear, concise, accurate messages. What does the world have waiting for our pile number twos a year from now? We have fairness with ma'at, okay? So it says this situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. So whatever it is you're going through, everything's about to balance itself out. Pile number twos, you easy does it, right? You don't need to worry about a thing because everything is coming into natural congruence on its own, okay? And you're gonna see that very soon. One more card, Spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number twos. What does the world have waiting for pile number twos a year from now? Okay. So we have a Rakura with blossoming. You are just getting started. Exactly. So have patience with yourself in the process. Do not give up. Exactly. 
Don't give up God's spirit source energy, your higher self. The most high is endowing you with this strength and perseverance. Take it easy right now. You know, maybe you're just now in the conception stage, but you know, these cards are very, um, uh, what is it called? These cards are very precise in the message that is giving. And it's that everything is working out for the, your highest good and the highest good of others. So there's really no need to worry or stress or fear because things are being taken care of. And we have Mawu with Mother Earth. You are called upon to help with environmentalism. I think this is really interesting. So I have a feeling that you are being called to um, lead by example um, with earth and its inhabitants, right? At the bottom of the deck here, we have Vesta with home. Since mother earth is our home, I have a feeling you're, maybe you're even going to start recycling crystals or like you could even start a crystal recycling business so that we're not continuously, you know, or you're going to make sure that your crystals come from a sustainable, healthy place. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like the crystals that you get are in abundance, like that grow um, in perpetuity. I don't know if I'm saying that word correctly, but that that continuously grows, you know what I'm saying? And uh, you're going to be mining certain crystals that do that instead of just the super rare ones that the earth needs and things like that. You're going to restore balance as it pertains to... Um, you know, the environment, you know, even with crystals, maybe that's how you're going to help with environmental issues is, uh, through channeling through like healthy, healthy mining or something as it pertains to crystals, because the earth is our home, right? It says your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in the occupants. So yeah, you're definitely a year from now, you're definitely going to be surrounded by a lot of like huge crystals. And I don't know if this is in regards to you selling crystals, you just offering crystals to, um, you know, for like in congruence with your services as a practitioner, pile number twos. But you're definitely helping. You're definitely helping the earth by doing this you're going to be coming up with some amazing idea that's really going to maybe even revolutionize or innovate the way people use crystals or think about crystals, something along those lines, okay? And you're just in the conception stage. You're just getting started, okay? Huh, very interesting. Okay, so yeah. So we're going to pull one last card for you in this angel messages deck last message for our pile number twos god clear concise accurate messages what do you want to leave pile number twos with advice guidance and wisdom for pile number twos okay you you guys needed three messages <laughs> We have positive thinking at the bottom of the deck. It says positive thinking. Positive thinking is vital in creating a healthy and abundant life. A positive attitude along with positive belief and thoughts are crucial ingredients for creating happiness. Don't worry. Think love. So yeah, I, I feel like since you're just in the beginning stages, be as positive as you can at this time. This may... Uh, mean increased meditation, meditating on certain crystals, meditating with certain crystals, just so you could have the vision in your mind very crisply, very sharply. So it can all like, kind of like you already have the vision in your mind's eyes. So with that being said, it'll just kind of like the cards will fall where they may, right? The cards will just like line up into place and that will, um, it's almost like your exact vision will be made manifest through um, the external by the work you do on the internal first, right? And that's through positive thinking. We have healing. It says, I, the angel of healing, am with you right now. Fill my presence and my unwavering love for you. I have loved you before the dawn of time and will love you for all eternity. You're healing and you're helping to heal people and the world, okay? Okay. 
again, this is your destiny. We have two destiny cards here. It says your destiny is to bloom, to shine, to transform to ever greater light. And it even says blossoming. Okay. So you're blossoming into the person that you uh, want to become. And you would have blossomed probably uh, into that person a year from when you're watching this reading. Okay. It says achievement. Take a little time to reflect on what you have achieved to date. It is often easy to forget where you started from and how far you've come. Honor and be grateful for this for this extraordinary journey that is your life. So yeah, you've reached a lot of achievements thus far. And I'm getting this is where you're going to be at a year from now, pile number two. So embrace this and be grounded in the here and now and, you know, honor yourself and honor the other people around you through these achievements that you have done because I'm seeing like a year from now you're gonna be making a lot of headway a lot of traction and and, and major moves okay as it pertains to the healing um of yourself and of others and it's really going to benefit you not just internally but externally a lot of abundance a lot of stability a lot of wishes being granted that you know the things that you prayed for then are the things that are happening in your life a year from now okay so you know you're also being thrust into this leadership role that you've always wanted that you've always seen yourself um and that inner child is really celebrating you and thanking you for that okay so pile number two is with that being said, I love you so much, my dreamy dreamers. Uh, if this mes if this message resonated with you or if you liked it, please give this reading a big thumbs up. Like, share, and subscribe. Share this content with loved ones, family, friends, or anyone else who would best benefit from the messages provided here today. Again, my dreamy dreamers, I love you so much. And until next time, I'll see you in your next readings. Bye. Hey, pile threes. Welcome back to your reading. So you all chose this really beautiful tiger's eye crystal that really helps to restore balance and strengthens your inner resilience, right? It also alleviates anxiety, restores confidence, increases wealth and vitality, and it brings protection against negative energy and strengthens self-worth, okay? So... Tiger's eye also um, is correlated to the zodiac sign Leo as well. Okay, so let's reveal your life's purpose card. We have options. It says consider the career possibil consider the career possibilities that are open to you. So um, in regards to what the world has waiting for you a year from now, pile number uh, threes. I'm getting balance, a lot of balance. You have a lot of options available to you. And I think it's interesting because we have the seven of cups right here, which stand for a lot of options, right? Um, but yeah, like, it's almost like, what do you want? It, it really just depends on you. What do you want to do? How do you want to proceed with your life? You know, um, you know, obviously it seems like you're, ma you're making balanced choices and you're restoring a lot of balance and harmony into your life right now. So maybe uh, a year from now, God, Spirit, Source, Energy is giving you that time to weigh your options, right? See what you want, you know, see how you're going to proceed in the world and, um, and yeah, and, and see, watch it unfold, watch it all unfold as you make these options or weigh your options, right? So give me a minute, pile number threes. I want to read from the guidebook as it pertains to these options. So let's see. Okay, it says, you have more options than you may realize, which is why this card comes to you today. While you may feel limited in your career choices, the angels remind you that the possibilities are unlimited. They promise that the time, money, knowledge, opportunities, and other factors that you need are very much open to you. This card is a sign urging you to think outside the box and be open-minded with respect to your options. For example, can you return to school and learn new skills related to your dream career? Can you begin a self-employment venture on a part-time basis while your regular job pays the bills? Or could you find a mentor to train you while you work as an intern or volunteer. The range of possibilities is wide and varied if you will just be open to them. 
It says, take a moment right now and say to your angels, please give me clear signs and guidance about my options related to my divine life mission and career that makes my heart sing with joy. Then notice intuitive feelings and ideas as well as repetitive physical signs, which are messages from above. So, okay. So pile number threes, I feel like things are going so good for you right now that I feel like a lot of options are being thrown into your lap right now, right? So, you know, you you could have like a lot of money, a lot of prosperity, be very stable right now. So now it's just the point of like, well, what do I want to do? What calls to me? What makes my soul sing? You know what I'm saying? And those are the options that you're weighing right now, okay? Um, or that you're going to be weighing a year weighing in on a year from now. That's how stable, that's how grounded you're going to be physically, mentally, and emotionally, I feel as well. Okay. So yeah, we have the nine of wands at the bottom of the deck in reverse. I have a feeling you've done a lot of healing that's taking you to this grounded space that's taking you to, um, this uh stable place okay you're very grounded in your emotions and i feel like a lot of wishes are coming true to you and that's why you have also a lot of options at this time because you've done a lot of the healing work the healing work uh for a particular portion of your life right for a particular topic of your life is being healed and it's been transmuted into a uh, stability financial stability financial freedom um you know, maybe even home ownership or just ownership of something that's allowing you to feel this uh, free and reinvigorated and celebratory, right? Yeah. So let's list off your cards. We have the King of Cups, the Star, Four of Wands, Page of Cups, the Moon, Ten of Wands, Seven of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands. The four of wands in the page of pentacles pile number three. Um, I feel like, yeah, you planted these seeds early on. I feel like you could be planting these seeds right now as you're watching this reading. And a year from now, your wish has been granted, right? That four of wands, that prosperity, that financial freedom, that free to roam, even if you want, right? is here for you. You know, uh, the reason why a lot of us want to be financially free, want riches or wealth, uh, which is, there's nothing wrong with that, right? Is so we can feel freedom. Is so we can have this uh, sense of financial freedom and prosperity as it pertains to being free to make certain choices that uh, money or finances a lot, right? having those options, right? Oh, this was here. Yeah, I feel like, again, this was a seed that you have planted. You're probably planting right now, pile number threes, and it will come into fruition within the next year. So with the King of Cups and the Ten of Wands, I feel like you have this emotional intelligence within the next year uh, from you watching this reading that was very kind of hard to to get to, right? With this uh, 10 of wands, I feel like you felt a lot of, you felt a lot of burdensome energy. You felt like maybe the weight of the world was on your shoulders, but um, however you felt, you kept a good disposition about you. You know what I'm saying? You did not ruin someone's day just because you felt a certain way. You just kept tre uh, trudging uphill knowing that you were going to reach your destination and you did, right? with that King of Cups. You didn't let the turbulence of your emotions or what's going on around you affect your um, demeanor, affect your personality, okay? Affect the way you treated others as well. With the Star card and the Seven of Cups, like we suggested here with the uh, Options card, you are going to have a lot of beautiful wish granted options available to you. So a lot of the things that you have always wanted to do, the, the person you have always wanted to become, the identity you've always wanted to embody, they're going to be presented to you right now. And I have a feeling you're going to uh, take those options, weigh them and make the correct choices for you. 
pile number threes with the page of cups and the three of pentacles i have a feeling you're feeling like this newness in your energy in your emotional life you're feeling fun free flirty right to work with others you could be working with a lot of people um right now okay you could be working with a lot of people you could you could also have a team i feel like i feel like you've been envisioning a team of people for a long time to uh help you facilitate these dreams that you've you've always wanted to make manifest and right now you're doing that it's like you're daydreaming this team right now and it's coming to fruition within the next year pile number three And with the moon and the eight of wands, I just keep getting your dreaming this. Like there are certain illusions that, you know, maybe haven't, you haven't seen yet, or there's a certain, um, there's something not being completely uncovered for you just yet, but it's about to with this moon energy okay you could be tapping into the occult as well you could be tapping into hidden knowledge um you could be getting an energetic upgrade or you could be doing like moon rituals okay i feel like you could be um yeah you could be doing moon rituals or something like that there could be like it's interesting because we have the stars in the sky here and then we have the starry night sky here. I kind of want to clarify this moon card for you, pile number threes. Thank you, God. Thank you, spirit. Why is this moon card here for pile number threes? Please clarify this moon card energy for pile number three, spirit. Okay, we have the queen of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you could have manifested this new beginning of this uh, material prosperity through moon magic or through like uh, King of Swords and uh, through maybe the moon cycles, okay? You could have manifested a lot of your abundance through the moon cycles is what I'm getting. Okay, let's see here. So we have six, uh, we have the seven of cups. And then we have the King of Swords. Yeah, you were very direct about what you wanted. So maybe you used uh, maybe the new moon and the full moon to use the new moon to manifest what you wanted, right? And then you use a full moon to release anything that would be uh, considered a blockage for that to come in and to come in expediently, Okay, especially here with this eight of wands is coming in now something that you manifested during a moon cycle, whether it was during a new moon uh, or it might take this full moon to come to fruition by the time we hit uh, next year. So I'm not really getting a date. Maybe. Let's see, maybe sometime during the spring or summertime just as it pertains to this four of wands and this page of pentacles it kind of like it kind of looks like spring or summertime yeah is manifesting for you something that you already set into motion and i'm thinking that you're setting into motion right now this could have been the recent full moon i mean the recent new moon we're still in the new moon in Cancer energy. Today is the 29th, June 29th, 2022. I am filming this, pile number three. So yeah, we're still in that new moon energy. So maybe make a wish, you know, manifest what you want um, to happen. And a year from now, you're going to see that wish come into fruition really quickly, okay? <clears throat> maybe the wish was for options, right? I feel like some options beats none. And if you're getting a lot of options that you have, have to choose from, uh, that's kind of like a good problem to have, right? Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Tell us more clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number threes. Look, we have card number six with victory and success. So victory and success is assured. You're going to be manifesting something pretty big 
a year from now pile number threes. What does the world have in store for pile number threes one year from now, Spirit? We have card number seven, patience and planning. This did come in, in the reverse, so I have a feeling one year from now, you're already going to be living within your manifestation. We have card number eight, accelerated motion. So we have two eight of wands here, technically. We have this one and we have this one. So it's like a shooting star, make a wish because it's going to come in and it's going to come in fast. And by, the, by this time next year, you're probably going to be on the accelerated road to financial freedom or whatever freedom means to you. This could be financial, this could be time, this could be whatever, you know. We have card number seven, choose wisely. We have six, seven, eight. You're climbing up that ladder, right, to success, to where you want to be. You're getting there, uh, surely. And then we have card number two, balance. Again, yeah, you're being brought back into equilibrium. This person has a scale in this, their hands, and this is the whole card uh, predicated off of balance. You're balancing your energies right now through these options, pile number threes. But success is assured. It's guaranteed. So you make your wish, write down what it is that you want to attain in the next year because it's bound to come true. You're going to have so many options again with the seven of cups. You're going to have so many options. You're going to have to choose wisely. And I know you, you are. You're going to be in prayer and supplication to God's spirit source energy, your higher self, um, to give you, to endow you with the wisdom to make the correct decision for you and everyone else involved. Tell us more, Spirit, clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number threes. What does the world have in store for pile number threes a year from now? Thank you. Clear, concise, accurate messages. What does this world have in store for pile number threes a year from now? What does the world have in store for pile number threes one year from now, Spirit? Okay, we have at the bottom of the deck, let loose. You're going to be jumping for joy <laughs> about these options that are coming in for you, pile number, um, pile number threes. We have inner child. Your inner child is also going to be jumping for joy. Look at this uh, child right here, just happy and bliss because you have made the right choices and you're well taken care of and provided for. We have find your blessings. This is what you're doing. You're, I, I feel like you're placing a magnifying glass and a spotlight on uh, what makes you feel blessed, what makes you feel healed, what makes you feel enough, what makes you feel worthy. And those are going to be the choices that you take. We have feel successful, beautiful energy. We have share your gifts. Exactly. And we have invest in yourself. There's a lot of your, your, your. Yeah. So uh, this is going to be about you pile number um, threes. You're going to make the decisions and choices that are, that are best for you. And in doing so, you're going to allow other people to, uh, you know, share in that happiness, share in those um, decisions with you. And it's going to make them happy as well. It's going to make them feel blessed just in proportion. Okay. So yeah, let's pull some more cards. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Tell us more. What does the world have in store for our pile number threes a year from now? Thank you. We have Ogham Nature. I feel like you're going to be spending a lot more time in nature. You're probably going to be traveling a lot. You know, being able to, you know, maybe even rest at in remote islands or islands or uh forest I don't know just <laughs> I feel like you're going to be in nature a lot because of what these options present to you and it's going to restore a lot of your balance tell us more spirit what does the world have in store for our pile number threes a year from now we have handwriting authenticity you could be writing a book okay maybe that's why you're going to a retreat or something in nature so you can focus to you know write this book and share with uh people your story your authentic truth your authentic story <laughs> and we have wishbone affirmation like i said make a wish because it's gonna come true for you pile number threes 
we have lots of chance because you took a chance on yourself because you you took the road less traveled and the road less traveled tends to be a one with more decisions that you have to make along the path but because you're willing to make these decisions you're also being rewarded simultaneously there's a lot of purple here so i'm thinking a lot of crown chakra energy a lot of uh endowment of spiritual gifts and um gifts in general almost like as if you can see what's ahead of you okay so let's pull some goddess guidance cards to start ending off your reading with uh, pile number threes clear concise accurate messages for pile number threes thank you god thank you swords thank you spirit what do you want pile number three to know What does the world have waiting for them one year from now, spirit? <laughs> wow, I love this. We have Lakshmi, bright future, pile number threes. It says, stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. Everything is amazing for you right now. You're living in the land of milk and honey, so to speak, okay? What else do you want, pile number three, to know about what the world has waiting for them one year from now? We have butterfly maiden transformation. You are experiencing enormous change right now, which brings great blessings. You got it, pile number threes. We have Damra, Damara, guiding children. You are good at helping, counseling, and healing children. Use your skills to help children now. So you could be writing children's books. You could be like uh, working with children more closely, working with nieces and nephews or your own kids or grandkids or something like that, pile number threes, in which you are really helping to facilitate their future and allow them to grow. Also, 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 also what I'm getting, pile number threes, before I lose it, is that whatever foundation you've set up for yourself now in the realm of this financial freedom is going to help guide your children, your grandchildren, your nieces and nephews, the kids around you to see what's possible, the options that they have in life. They just don't have one or three options. The options are endless, are of multitude uh, as it pertains to their life. Whereas maybe these kids have been told the opposite. Like you only have three options to be successful, be a doctor, lawyer, or, or whatever, right? And you're like, no, there's so much available to you. And they see it through you through your experience, because you're not that traditional doctor or lawyer or, you know, such and such. Um, you, you've done it your way. And I feel like you're going to help guide children uh, through being an example for them or a mentor or something like that. Um, we have at the bottom of the deck, Kion Yin, compassion. It says, release judgment about yourself and others and focus on love and light that is within everyone. And I have a feeling that's what you're doing right now. You're like uh, perpetuating uh, this success onto others as you've experienced it yourself, pile number threes. Okay, so I'm going to pull one more card from this angel message deck to end your reading. Last message for our pile number three spirit that we want to leave them with guidance, wisdom, or advice for our pile number three. Positive thinking. It says positive thinking is vital in creating a healthy and abundant life. A positive attitude along with positive belief, beliefs and thoughts are crucial ingredients for creating happiness. Don't worry, think love. And I have a feeling that's what you're doing. Pile number three, amazing energy per usual. Um, I can't wait to see how all this unfolds into your life. Leave a comment if you, you know, see this happening now, like step by step, even it's even if it's just in its minutest stage, leave a comment. I would love to learn more about y'all and, and see what's going on in your lives, okay? So with that being said, my pile number threes, I love you so much. Um, if you like this reading, if it resonated for you, please leave a big thumbs up, uh, like, share, and subscribe, share this content with loved ones, friends, family, or anyone else who would best benefit from the messages provided here today. 
Again, I love you so much, pile number threes. And until next time, I'll see you in your next reading. Bye. Hey, pile number fours. Welcome back to your reading. So you all chose this really pretty green strawberry quartz. Okay, so what I'm getting what the world has in store for you a year from now is, you know, the ability to, um, you know, differentiate what it is that you want to do and where it is that you're going, right? I feel like you've planted a lot of seeds already that are showing up for you, right? That are, uh, you're, you're seeing the fruitfulness of your work, okay? A year from now, the things that you've planted and sown, pile number, uh, fours, you are seeing them sprout. Okay. Also with this green strawberry quartz means is, uh, you know, it gives you the ability to show your life's purpose and help you to work toward, uh, fulfilling your destiny. It brings calm and tranquility during stressful times. So a year from now, you could be having a lot of work to do because this was something that you asked for. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you sown certain seeds that, you know, was related to a business or enterprise venture or, you know, maybe something in your career or, you know, the company that you work with or for. And now, you know, you're kind of being given a lot to do because you prayed for a lot, right? You asked for a lot. So I'm getting what the store, what the world has in store for you one year from, from, from now is the things that you've asked for, the things that you've prayed for in the past, right? You could be praying for now. Maybe you are out of work, right? Maybe you, you aren't working at all and you're praying and asking God for clarity and guidance uh, to show you where you're, where you're needed the most, right? Where, where you can, uh, serve the most people. Okay. But I digress. Let's move forward into your card. We have books. It says you connect to your life purpose through your involvement with books. So I definitely want to read a little bit more of this to you, uh, from the guidebook. You could be writing a book, maybe. Yeah. You could be writing a book a year from now. But let's see. It says your love of books drew this card to you. You're able to find something interesting between the covers of most works and your literature interests are wide and varied. So it's not surprising that your life purpose is centered around the, writ the written word. For example, you do well working at a bookstore, library, publishing house or magazine or in the media. Um, it also says you may also be drawn to write a book, which the angels will help you with. It says you can find answers and directions for your current career path by intuitively selecting books that call to you. Even if the topics seem initially unrelated to your past career, trust that there's, val there's valuable information within the pages. You're being led along the path of your divine life purpose one page at a time. So again, um, yeah, you could be writing a book and what I was going to say that's why you could be in this hermit mode um, a year from now because look, you're you're writing, you're working on your book or your novel or something, you know, to maybe um it's almost like you're just now getting done writing your book, right? This is what I'm getting. So a year from now, pile number fours, what the world has in store for you is you're just now getting done with writing your book. Maybe you've had people illustrate certain things that you wanted to convey or whatever. This could be writing a book, maybe even doing a deck, right? If you all are tarot readers uh, watching this, maybe you've composed a deck of oracle cards, uh, affirmation cards, or tarot cards, and kind of like you know, you do have to write a book as it pertains to the guidebook, right? So you could be doing that and maybe you and your illustrator finish at the same time, right? Um, and these were seeds that you, you have been planting years ago, maybe even just now as well. And with this green strawberry quartz, it's going to help you to facilitate that. It's going to help you to facilitate your destiny by charging this crystal or, you know, if you have that, this crystal or something like it, right? But yeah, this is where you're going to be a year from now. I see like you're going to be done writing a book, writing something as it pertains to, um, to that. Okay. And it's going to propel you forward into your work, even with the four of swords in reverse. I have a feeling like I feel like writers, they go through a lot. Right. Um, 
it takes a lot of energy. It takes a lot of brain power to write a book. That's why everyone doesn't write books, right? So with the hermit in this four swords in reverse, you're now just coming out of that hermit shell, so to speak. You're coming out of your solitude from writing your your life's work or this work, and you're you're you might just be in the stage of trying to get it out there, trying to get it published, trying to, you know, get it in the right hands. Okay. So I digress. Let's move forward. We have the page of pentacles at the bottom of the deck in reverse. So what I'm getting with this page of pentacles in reverse is that you have already planted these seeds. You've already sown these seeds. And that's why a year from now, they're actually coming into fruition. You know, the, the, the student has now turning into the teacher. So everything that you've accumulated, as an apprentice, as a student, as a learn learned person, right? A learned person, <laughs> you are putting it in your life's work or one of your life's work. You're putting it in a book. You're writing it down, and um, to contribute to other people's well being. Also, palm number fours. Okay. So, in the center of your reading, we have the Queen of Cups and the. Oh no, sorry. I don't think we listed out your cards. We have the Hermit, Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, the Hanged One, which is the hang, hanged man, hanged one. Uh, we have the High Priestess, Four of Swords in Reverse, Judgment, King of Wands in Reverse, Two of Swords, and a Seven of Swords in Reverse. It's funny to me because this tends to happen at the bottom row. It'll go like reversed, upright, reversed, upright, reversed, or like, you know, vice versa. And I feel like the, those are just kind of like waves of emotions or like up, up and down energy, almost like those two of pentacles, right? That two of pentacles energy, so to speak. You're trying to maintain your composure or certain things are dipping up and down, up and down, right? But I digress. Let's move forward. In the center of the reading, we have the Queen of Cups and the King of Wands. So what I'm getting, pile number one, is a year from now, what you're going to be doing is conveying... What you're going to be doing is conveying a lot of emotions into your story, right? Even if that's taking less action in the external world, right? To allow for this energy to permeate through your pages, right? I'm getting you're going to be very vulnerable in what it is that you're writing so people can learn through your own experiences. With the King of Wands in reverse, I feel like Maybe you've taken a step back or step down from, you know, maybe leading something. Maybe you've uh, given the reins over, like if you have a business or something, maybe you've, you know, left a manager in charge so you could really sit down and write this book gently and with uh, a lot of love, tenderness, and care, right? You're not just trying to speed write this book. You're trying to put every inch of soul into it, okay? Okay. Like I suggested earlier through the cards with the Hermit and the Four of Swords, I feel like as soon as you're done writing the book, now it's time to get up and get at them, maybe shopping the book around, finding certain publishing companies, things of that nature, maybe even finding an illustrator. But like I was even suggesting earlier, you, you and the illustrator could be done with the book at the same time, right? And then you're going to have this congratulatory... Um, moment from the universe that's congratulating you that's giving you your second wind so you can get up and at them and shop this book around or shop uh your product around okay with this judgment card here it's like you're you're being saved you're being resurrected you're giving that that uh round of applause from the universe for for accomplishing such a major feat pile number four is that many people do not many people won't do you know you did it this was huge okay so with the hanged one and the two of swords now i just feel like you're 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 you could be just surrendering it right you could be surrendering this beautiful work of art that you've spent so much time and energy writing so much of your heart went into this and now you're just it's time to surrender and um yeah, I feel like you're just laying in wait here, just lying, laying in wait, you know? And it's like, I'm getting that Erica Badu sentiment. I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my ish with this two of swords. Like, ah, uh, I don't want to see, I don't want to know. I'm guarding my heart because, you know, I'm trying to see how this book is going to do, what the reviews are going to 
be something along those those lines. But I have a feeling you're laying away. You're not worried, okay? You're not worried about it. It's just like your little anticipatory energy is coming out. With the High Priestess and the Seven of Swords, I feel like you know how good it's going to do. You're not even lying to yourself. You know how good it's going to do because you know the the heart, the soul, the energy that you put into these pages, right? Look, even the high priestess is typing on their laptop. Yeah, you've been, you know what you put into these pages. So you're not even lying to yourself anymore about like feeling worried or, oh, is it going to, you know, do good? You know it's going to do good. And even... Uh, whatever that circumstances, I feel like you're, you know that you did the best you could. You know what I'm saying? And that even if it just affects one person's life, you've done what you can do. You've done your job and you're not letting uh, false ideologies or false thoughts get into uh, in between that. You know, you're proud of yourself. Tell us more spirit, clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number fours. What does the world have waiting for pile number four is a year from now? Spirit, clear, concise, accurate messages. We have card number six moving on. Yeah, you're moving forward to your prosperity, to the light, to new beginnings, okay? God, spirit, source energy is allowing this clarity of mind, this calm of mind, this peace, this tranquility to wash over you so you can continue to move forward uh, in, onto your destiny. Tell us more, Spirit. What does the world have in store for our pile number fours a year from now? You also could be traveling overseas, maybe promoting this book or promoting your work of art. Okay, thank you. We have card number six, Memories of Love. You could just be writing the book could have you very reminiscent at this time, pile number fours. You could just be thinking about the past. Maybe you wrote about the past, past loves, friendships, familial uh, ties, or even romantic love in this book. And it's just, and what I'm getting is you're letting it go. You're letting it go. You're letting go of your labor of love so you can move on to your next venture as well or your next book or your next story we have card number seven with deception and envy okay and it's interesting we have 66 i feel like while you're on course while you're on your life's path people might you know feel away about maybe what you wrote in this book pile number four did you write a tell all i don't think so i think <laughs> i'm joking with you but i think um you wrote in a lot of truths that were pertinent to you and maybe people just feel away because of the success of your book or the success that you're having with pursuing your destiny. And, um, you know, certain people just feel uncomfortable when we take chances on ourselves and they work because it reminds them of what they're not doing or how they didn't do that, but they should look at it as inspiration instead of uh envy because they could easily swap that that envy to inspiration and 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 go on their own course right and i have a feeling you understand that uh we have card number two intuition at the bottom of the deck yeah you were led by your intuition not ego you just allowed your intuition to speak through you and through the pages, and it, it worked, pile number fours. Tell us more, God. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number four. What awaits them in the world one year from now? What does the world have waiting for our pile number fours one year from now? One more. Okay. We have at the bottom of the deck, Healer. I have a feeling this book or this piece of work or art that you're releasing a year from now is going to heal a lot of people, pile number fours. So congratulations alone, you know, in regards to that. We have Protect Yourself, okay? Yeah, you're protecting your heart, mind, and soul. This is the first time this card has ever came out. You're protecting your energy and your yourself, period. You're protecting your heart. Look, you're protecting your heart right now because you know there's going to be a lot of people who are maybe like just around you because of the success of your work or something like that. So, or who would want to be around you because of success, the success that you're having with this book or with the work that you're putting out. You have a 
feel successful? Yeah. You felt this long, a long time ago, you felt successful before even the success of this book or this piece of art that you're putting out or whatever you're putting out, a a screenplay or a, a movie. Uh, we have trust your gut. Yeah. Trusting your intuition. Your intuition is never going to lie to you or deceive you. So trust in that, uh, trust in your intuitive faculty because it's, it's steering you the right way. We have no, I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of people with their hands out pile number fours, and you're going to protect yourself by refusing a lot of offers. Or even if people are like, oh, coming out the woodwork, asking for stuff, you're going to set those clear boundaries and you're going to have to put your foot down and, you know, kind of draw a line in the sand like, hey, I can't do this right now. Or, hey, I'm unable to do that. Or, hey, that compromises my integrity, things of that nature. Because I have a feeling a lot of people are going to uh, want a piece of you after this, uh, whatever you produce comes out. Tell us more, Spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number fours. What does the world have waiting for them a year from now? Okay, so we have lots chance. Again, you took a chance on yourself. You were being guided by spirit source energy, okay, to make the right decisions. Shagai fragmented. I feel like you're feeling like yourself again. You're going to be feeling whole and renewed again. One more card, spirit. What does the world have waiting for pile number fours a year from now? We have coins abundance, baby. Yeah, a lot of people are going to look with their hands out <laughs> saying what they could do, help you with or invest in. And you're like, you know, because you have all this abundance and these coins. Right. And you're going to really have to structure solid boundaries for yourself, for your own protection and the protection and safety of yourself and your, your well-being, especially financially. Because I have a feeling you're going to be extremely abundant in the next year uh, through something that you put out. And yeah, you're going to feel really great. And a lot of people are going to, like I said, want a piece of you. We have feathers, messages. Like to me, this is just a confirmation card here. Let's say yes, <laughs> that is completely accurate. So let's pull some goddess guidance, oracle cards. Cards. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number fours. What does the world have waiting for pile number fours one year from now, Spirit? Clear, concise, accurate messages for pile number fours. What? Thank you. What does the world have waiting for our pile number fours one year from now, Spirit? So look, we have vast with independent. You, your independence is a foundation for your strength and success. Exactly. Look at all this abundance that's surrounding Bast right now. The cat goddess. Uh, you're very independent, okay? You could own your the rights to your books or something like that and still have made like a plethora of like abundance or money, but you own your rights. You could even own your own publishing company in a year and you put out the book through your own publishings and now other people are going to want you to publish their books or their works of art. Pile number for tell us more spirit clear concise accurate messages for pile number fours tell us more what does the world have waiting for them a year from now thank you we have hather with receptivity it says allow yourself to receive this will increase your intuition energy and ability to give to others you are you're in this receptive mode you're basking in your independence in your feminine energy no matter if you're male or female you're being super receptive because you've been given so much from the universe that you're able to uh that you have been re- able to receive and i feel like you've been able to receive this independence like even look at bast this uh goddess has their arms stretched out in order to receive right one more card spirit for our pile number fours what does the world have waiting for them one year from now spirit one more card one more card clear concise accurate messages for our pile number fours, what does the world have waiting for them 
one year from now. Thank you. Ooh, we have Sage with quiet time. Take some quiet time alone to rest, meditate, and contemplate. And this is what I feel, what I'm feeling like you're gonna do. You've been so go, 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 exerting a lot of mental energy and a lot of mental uh strength with this uh by this time, right? So from now and this time next year to where like you're maybe going to go on a quiet retreat, you know, to to meditate and contemplate, rest, restore your energy, right? That Hathor energy with receptivity, that um, uh, femininity of uh, just resting and recouping and receiving. Uh, yeah, you might take some quiet time out to make sure that you're in a state of solitude and able to regain your strength. For, for your next venture, right? For whatever else you put out next. And we have Butterfly Maiden, transformation at the bottom of the deck. You are experiencing enormous change right now, which brings great blessings. Exactly. Pile number four. So congratulations in advance. You're being given a lot right now, and I feel like you're going to give to others within reason and to those who have really been, you know, there for you and, you know, uh, a shoulder that you could lean on yourself when when you needed to pile number of fours tell us more spirit clear concise accurate messages tell us more last message of advice guidance and wisdom for our pile number fours thank you we have faith okay keep going keep going pile number fours you're gonna get here okay as i said as i said that i seen two 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 on the uh timer it says do not lose faith the storm clouds will soon clear and the sun will shine once more okay continue to have faith in this vision and it's going to come into fruition it's not the matter of if but when Oh yeah, y'all got to see this bottom card. We have Archangel Michael showing up in your reading. It says the path is now clear. I have removed all obstacles in your way. You can move forward now with ease and confidence. You will achieve what your heart desires. So with that being said, pile number four is amazing message. I can't wait to see what products or what services that you offer through your guidance as it pertains to your gift of writing. Uh, in whatever medium you choose to put out those uh, products or services. I can't wait to see what they are. If you all have ideas about it, you could keep it to yourself or you could share it in the comment section below. I would love to hear about them because I'm, I'm excited to see what's coming forth from you all. So with that being said, my lovely dreamy dreamers, I love you so much. If you like this reading, if it resonated with you, please give this reading a big thumbs up. Like, share, and subscribe. Share this content with loved ones, family, friends, or anyone else who would best benefit from the messages provided here today. Again, my dreamy dreamers, I love you so much, and I'll see you in our next readings. Bye.